Tuesday, November 22nd, 2016. My co-host today is Max Greenfield. Day two. Yeah, I know. I'm Max, back. Max, was, Max was so funny backstage. You guys, he said to me, I had so much fun yesterday. I go, well, that's good. Because yeah. it would suck if you didn't. No, I you had imagine? so much fun. This was the best. Yes. Just, I mean, you're just so great at this. And it was so much fun being here with oh, you. Oh, thanks. Well, I was excited to come back. It's all them. It's not me. And by the way. Don't think it. Don't think I haven't noticed how good you guys all look. I love this time of year because the audience really dresses up, and I like that, and I appreciate it. So thank you. Yeah, everybody's yeah. in their yeah, winter gear. Good. Yeah, they look good. They look good. Is the new girl? I meant to ask you this yesterday. Is new girl still shooting? Yeah. yeah. You're, so you're in the middle we're of it. We're off this week. Oh, you are. But uh, yeah, we're in the middle of it. We're about halfway through right now. I love that you had a week off and you chose to work instead of take the week off. You're <laughs> so right. sweet. That's very yeah. nice. Well, it was it's difficult to do this kind of thing and, and fly out to New York and do it during a week where we're shooting because then you're coming back and you're all disoriented. And yes. You go, Why did I do that? Yes. <laughs> like, I can't remember anything now. Jimmy Kimmel and I once flew back back and forth coast to coast. Yeah. Hosting his show and my show. It uh, was really crazy. It was, it was painful. You start to lose your mind a little bit. Oh, I definitely lost my mind. We were living on a diet of pizza. I mean, and period. I mean, it was like a diet of pizza, and that was it because we were so exhausted. I spent the night underneath Gelman, which was crazy. It's a long story. No, it's a long story, but they, we, we were on the. Somehow, Jimmy got a sponsorship for a private plane so we could fly back and forth. Do you remember this? Going back and forth. It was a really crazy thing. But the plane had more people. We just didn't have enough seats as we did people, and we were all trying to sleep. So Gelman, of course, being selfless, took up two seats, and he had put them, he had put them like a bed. Like he no, it was like a bed, and I and I went underneath the bed. Do you remember? Do you remember that? Like oh no, I, I'm gonna roll under here. Well, no, but I was the only person that fit under there, first of all. But it was, I mean, we, we all made it, but it was uh, it was dicey. Like, that that level of exhaustion is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's it becomes a lot, and especially when you're in a situation like this where you're just, you know, you're just chatting on TV, and then yeah. the next thing you know, you're like, what am I talking about? <laughs> well, what please, am I saying right now? Well, sometimes it's really good. Like, like you'll say things on the air that are great, you know, and helpful and yeah. terrific. <laughs> You'll say things on the air that are stupid and people are outraged over and you're like, what did I even say? I don't remember saying that. <laughs> and then once in a while you'll say something like, I love whatever it is, like mustard. And you'll get a ton of mustard and you're like, what? Where did all this mustard? There'll be like bushels of mustard in your room and you're like, did I even mention mustard? Because you get, you go on, you know, you're just having yeah, a conversation. I did a bit once in, a, in some sort of interview and I'd, men I'd mention Skittles. They, oh, here it comes. Everybody brace yourselves. They sent me a duffel bag filled with Skittles, and I was like, what on earth am I ever going to do with this? You're going to eat them is what you're going to do. We I love, told, we I told love my daughter. Mercedes Benzes, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, somehow they don't send duffel bags never, of Mercedes They Benzes. never do. I keep waiting every year around this time of year. You know that commercial where you see with the big bow? You know, the big bow. And uh, Santa's driving the Mercedes. And it's like <laughs> all the other Mercedes are like, they're like the reindeer. Do you know what I'm talking about? Or maybe it's not even Mercedes. <laughs> I don't know. It's a car. I keep waiting for that car to show up. It doesn't. And I don't it drive. Hasn't but it would be exciting to go outside and find a car with a bow. Don't I hear you don't like to drive. I don't. I don't. Who told you that? Gilman. He's a gossip. Oh, yeah. my God. He's a real gossip. He is a one. gossip. Because it rained in L.A., I guess, last night. Oh, yeah. And when it rains in L.A., it stops everything. you don't go out. Because dri people drive like maniacs. They no. don't know what to do. It's like Armageddon. I know. <laughs> All of a sudden, it rains. They get panic, and they start driving like crazy people, and you go, you know what? It's better we stay in today. But I hear you, when you go to LA, you walk around, and people look at you like, Kelly, why are you walking around Los Angeles? Uh, not just people. Tyler Perry was like, you can't walk here. <laughs> this is LA. And I said, I know. You guys are missing out on LA because it's gorgeous. It's not <laughs> raining. If this was New York, I would need five different jackets. I would need my 
all weather jacket. Then I would need my, need my lighter my lighter uh, level of jacket. Then I would need my rain slicker. Then I would need my umbrella. I would need my galoshes. <laughs> and I still walk everywhere in New York, but you need all of these things because you never know what's going to happen. You don't know if a witch on a broom is going to go by <laughs> or if you just don't know what's happening. And the other day I was walking home with my daughter and the, you know the, wi the wind gusts that were kicked up? Yes. It was a crazy wind, crazy windy day. We were walking through the park and egg corns were blowing out of the tree and <laughs> pelting us in the face. And she's like, people are throwing things at us. And I said, no, they're not. That's the wind blowing egg corns out of the tree. I, in I, LA, that doesn't happen. I always underestimate the walks in New York because I like to walk in New York a lot. Yeah. And I'll be like, it's only 40 blocks. And then I'll, I'll get into it and I'll get about 13, 14, 15 blocks in and I'll, start, and I'll say to myself, Whew, all right, we're really doing this. Yeah. But then at that point you're in and you're like, I'm not going to get a cab or try to find a sub. I'm just like, I'm, gonna, I'm committed to this walk. And then by the end of the day, you've put in 70, 80 blocks. Right. And you don't realize it and you go, man, why am I so tired? Why am I so hungry? Why am I so hungry? I'm so hungry. I'm out of it. I woke up this morning. I was like, oof. What did I do yesterday? We all we all first got uh, our watches. Our app, we all got Apple watches at the same time, and and uh, and we had this horrible competition with each other. Does, does it count steps? Yeah, it counts everything. Okay. <laughs> so so Gilman would like text me and be like. I walked seven miles today. And I'd be like, oh my God, I only walked six and three quarters. And I would stand up, pajamas, and I would like march around in a circle like a horse that needs to be lunged because I was going to get to 7.1 mile before I responded to him. So I'd be like, and Mark would be like, how many miles did Gelman get? Because I would get up and then I stopped wearing my, I stopped wearing my watch when I, so I broke my foot two summers ago. You may remember, some of you may not, some of you look surprised, like you broke your foot. I was in a boot. Anyway, I broke my foot mm -hmm. and as I was sitting there in the emergency room waiting to be have my x-ray and I'm in the wheelchair, the watch is like, time to stand up. Oh no. And I felt like the watch was like an ex-lover taunting me. <laughs> The, well, the watch time to stand up. Time the watch should have known your location. I, I was like, had a little, had a little empathy. I was like, you shut it, shut it. It feels like Gelman's pretty co competitive. He is competitive, but Quiet, quietly, quietly so. Yeah. Quietly so. Well, no, he, he's no. That's the thing is, like, he doesn't let you know you're in the competition until he beats you. That's he's like, I beat you yesterday. <laughs> I'm like, you beat me. In what? Yeah, in what? In walking. <laughs> I walked four more blocks than you did. I was tracking your device on my device. That's right. Yeah. Just comes in yeah. casually. Hey guys, by the way, uh, I've clocked over 10,000 steps. Yeah. I yeah. didn't even know we were counting. Right. <laughs> yeah. We're not, I am, it's fine. Maybe you should start. So have, you, have you guys, who here is from out of town? That woke him up. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> have you been following the whale? The whale? There's a whale in New York City in the harbor. There's a whale in the harbor. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say it with a New England accent. There's a whale in the harbor. <laughs> our forefathers and our foremothers, there were eight of them. Last time we saw a whale in the harbor. Um, anyway, there is a whale, a whale in the harbor. Uh, it's been spotted in several locations. Hey, there, there, there she blow. <laughs> Which apparently is something you're supposed to say when you see a whale. We learned that when we did the show in Hawaii, that you don't just say there she blow. That's like what you, you're supposed to say that when you see a whale. It's not just from Moby Dick. Well, <laughs> next time I see a whale, I'll be sure to say there it. she blow. It's a 40 foot humpback. Uh, oh, no, wait. Uh, la, 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 la. The last time a whale was seen there was a 40-foot humpback named Harry. This whale is looking for a name. They're looking for a name. Uh, and these are some of the options. You want to hear? Yeah? Liberty, which I kind of like because, because she, and I don't know if it's a male or female, we haven't gotten that close. Um, 
I don't even know how you would Somebody look. Somebody hasn't that. figured that I out. I honestly, yet. I don't know how you would look. Do you pull up the, well, if you the said, whale's trousers? And if you said there she blows. Thar she, you always say there she blows. Well, I know, but then it would be a female. You're referring to her as a she in the first place. That's just like sailor talk. Anyway, listen. <laughs> So Liberty is nice because the first time the whale was seen, she was around Liberty Island. Then they like the name Hudson. Anybody like the name Hudson? Cause she's I like the name Hudson. Hudson. Uh, Yorka. Get it? New York and Orca. Yorka. <laughs> the audience is okay. not into it. We and are not a fan of Yorka. How do you feel about Fudgy? Oh, that's a New you know York. that that's a New York that. Carvel, Ice cream cake, cake Carvel. Fudgy the whale. No, you don't know what we're talking about. No, you don't know about Carvel and Fudgy the whale cake. It's in New York. And if you turn it upside down, it's Cookie Puss. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you guys from another planet? It's a local if you're a whale and a bunch of humans name you Fudgy, <laughs> I don't think, I don't think you're into that. Let me tell you something. If I'm a whale. <laughs> and you don't name me Fudgy, I'm gonna be furious. Can you imagine, you're, you're a whale and you're just like, they named me after a cake. An ice an cream, ice cream ca cake. A delicious Carvel ice cream cake. Would you like to be named after a delicious Carvel ice yes, cream cake? Yes, I would. You could call me Cookie Puss or Fudgy, I wouldn't care. But again, the year I was here, I was working We named our son Twinkie. <laughs> we, we were on the air and Gelman said to me, well, you know, uh, you know that Fudgy the Whale is really Cookie Puss turned upside down. And I was like, what did you say? <laughs> what? I had no idea that the Cookie Puss cake and the Fudgy the Whale cake was the same, same cake. cake. They yeah, just what? turned the, turned the <laughs> whale upside down and made the Cookie Puss with the hot... Do you know what I'm talking about? Wait, hold on. <laughs> so if they're selling it, I, I feel like I'm, I'm not understanding. I feel like the story. we need to get If they're food. selling it, like, are they like, you can buy the fudgy cake, or if you're not into that, you can do the, <laughs> the cookie puss. No, they have them already pre made <laughs> well, in we'll, the freezer, we'll the photos and they are play. side by side. Is it side. two separate ones, they or are, are they just The like... only difference is cookie puss has like a cookie puss. They're decorated differently. <laughs> like the whole face of the cake is like cookies and like. Now I feel like Carvel's trying to get over on us. Uh -huh. Are you? Did you? We mentioned this yesterday. You're 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 hosting for Thanksgiving, right? I am. You are. Yeah. How many people are you expected? Uh, I want to say maybe fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. And do you have people that Thanksgiving jump? Because we have friends that Thanksgiving jump. What does that mean? Like they go from Thanksgiving to Thanksgiving to Thanksgiving to Thanksgiving. Um, I don't know. No, I think everybody who's coming to our house is staying at our house and not... And not moving on? Not cheating on us with another right. Thanksgiving. 43% of Americans attend two or more Thanksgivings. Yeah. Why are we applauding that? I mean, Maybe. that is too many hard feelings and blame to go around. Have you seen this? What is that? There's another one of these. Another uh, one is, of these what? This is the flip-flops that are like a certain color, but you can't tell what color they are in the picture, and there's a big argument. Well, they're gray and blue. That's what I see. Yes, that's what everyone in the world should see. Well, I saw black and blue. Anyone else? Those are gray and blue. Those are slate. What do you see? White and gold. You do not see white and gold. <laughs> Oof. What? Yeah. There's a real division in the, in the studio see. right now. Kelly. Yeah. You see white and gold? Well, you and her need to go get your eyes checked. <laughs> All right, calm down. I shouldn't have brought no, this I, up. I no, I'm not going to calm the down. Dress? Yeah. yeah, the dress made me upset, too. I shouldn't have brought this up. I feel like we've created a division. Oh, yeah. that's a, that's that is a gold. black and blue dress. Oh, that's white yeah, that and is gold. a black and blue. You guys? You guys, it's guys, been confirmed. It's for the been last confirmed. time, that dress is black and blue. <laughs> and these flip-flops are slate gray and blue, to be specific. <laughs> and that's the end of the discussion. And what about, what about the cigar? The cigar is in the wall. <laughs> Period. The cigar is yeah, in the I wall. I see that, yes. That's okay? A that's a wall. cigar in the wall. Right. Okay. I know, by the way, I'm very familiar with this tone. My wife uses this tone. <laughs>
<laughs> and this is the type of tone that uh, you back away from, and you just go, it's whatever color you say it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I, I have to apologize. I binge watched Westworld last night, uh, so I'm all hopped up on. That's, a, that's animal hours of, te of television. I did. I watched. I watched. Well, I didn't binge watch the entire season. I binge watched three episodes. Okay. So, and yes, it is hours Are you of in? television. Oh, I'm so in, but I'm still not sure. I don't think I'm smart enough to fully understand what's happening. So, um, but it is an intriguing show. I, I, have you seen Westworld on HBO? Yeah, you have. Yeah. Okay. The rest of you don't know what you're missing. But again, you may watch it and go, I don't think I'm smart enough to understand what's happening. Here. It's it's a lot. It's complicated. It's really complicated. A lot of storylines. Oh my gosh, so many. And yet the same storyline over and over again. Yeah, I can't. I too yeah. much. I need half hours. Is this, all I want to say this, ladies, and again, and I'm saying ladies just because. We're used to female nudity on screen. We're used to it because it's part of what happens. This is male nudity. Constantly. I mean, constantly. And that's not why I'm watching, so calm down. I like, I like how you said that. You guys. No, just, that's not this why. Is, no, Gelman, not this even is this much. This is male nudity. Gelman's like, maybe this maybe much this is why you're watching. No, Gelman, not this okay. much, not this much, not that much. I'm just saying, I'm not used to seeing male and female nudity in equal supply, and good for them. Good for you, Westworld. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I like how you, I like how you used to, and let me tell you something, there's male nudity. No, because I, there's male nudity and people want to know. I think, I do. I didn't have the warning, so I started watching it with Joaquin and within eight seconds I was like, you have to go, you have to leave the room. This is Joaquin? not about, I thought it was a, a cowboy show. show. No. I was like, no. oh, it's about cowboys, no. you're going to love it. Robots and cowboys, what could be bad? Get out of the room. In three seconds he was out of the room. You were like giving him a, yeah. a history like, lesson on westerns and yeah. how great they are. I don't know, I didn't know. You should see The Magnificent Seven, I think this is going to be just <laughs> like that. And the next thing you know, look at all this male nudity. Uh, listen, we have a huge show today. Kristen Davis is here. And NASCAR Cup champion Jimmy Johnson is here. And now listen. This is the part of the year where we pretend like we're going to eat healthy, but we all know that we're not going to, okay? <laughs> But Dr. Wendy Bazillion is here, and she's going to give us a holiday healthy eating survival guide that we are going to politely listen to. Okay? <laughs> Every time she sees me backstage, she's like, I'm not sure why I come back for this. Like, I don't know either. Anyway, it's time for, oh, you ready? Oh, here we go. It's time for Lives of Party Travel Trivia. <laughs> Texas, that's Frank DiOrio. Hey, Frank. Hey. Good job. Uh, on the phone is Barbara Slivka from Bayonne, New Jersey. Yeah, hit the... Okay. Hey, Barbara. Good morning, Kelly and Matt. Hi, Barbara. Good morning. How's Bayonne today? Cold. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Very yeah, clear. Yeah. Hey, you're drinking already, I see in your picture. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was the New Year's Eve... Um, Picture a few years ago. Well, Why thanks, not? Thanksgiving is right around the corner. You gonna knock a few back? Uh, probably have one. One? Yeah, some wine with dinner. Yeah. Yeah, one, why not? One bottle. All right, we're gonna spin the wheel and see what okay. you're playing for, Barbara, okay? Okay. Oh, this is a great prize, Barbara. Do you like pirates? Yes, of course. Good. Who doesn't? Because you're playing for the Buccaneer in St. Croix. Seven days, 
six nights in a deluxe oceanfront room. It includes three meals daily. All three meals? Including lunch. Uh, <laughs> including. Including lunch. It, uh, this trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $9,500. Oh, wow. You have 20 Ooh. seconds and only one guest. Good luck, Barbara. Thank you. All right, Barbara, are you ready? Uh, yes. What did we say you cannot travel with on an airplane? Yesterday. Yesterday. Thanksgiving leftovers. Yes! Congratulations, you and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Buccaneers St. Croix. Founded in the 17th century and family run for generations, the Buccaneer in St. Croix is both historic and modern. Blend the old world charm with warm hospitality and the amenities expected by today's traveler. The Buccaneer is a premier destination resort for golf, tennis, water sports, weddings, honeymoons, and family vacations. Your prize is valued at approximately $9,500. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> She's in shock. Maybe she hung up. Barbara, did you hang up? Okay. She won. She won. What does she need to... Oh, well, what's, what uh, is going to happen? Barbara? All right. Well, we'll pick okay. the number later on. Okay. We're going to pick, we're gonna, uh, pick the number later on, but uh, somebody is going to win a, a Netflix streaming device valued at more than $500. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Can I pick the number? You want to pick the number? Yeah, I'll pick the number. We'll do it during commercial break. We got a big show right. with Kristen Davis when we return. Still ahead on live, we'll give you a healthy eating survival guide for the holiday season. We'll talk with the newest NASCAR champion, Jimmy Johnson. And coming up next, Kristen Davis. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Christmas, please welcome the lovable, lovely, and loving Kristen Davis. Hi, guys! Woo I don't know how to high five so many people. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hi! 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 That was fun. I feel like I'm a fool. Okay, that was fun. Hi! I'm really happy. Hi. Hi. I feel like I'm like a rock star or something. Yeah, so. yeah. Fun. We try. We try. Thanks, guys, yeah. for helping me feel that way. Okay, <laughs> your friend SJP was here I know. not too long ago. I saw her on the weekend, and we, that's what she told and me. And we asked her, we asked her, yes. point blank. We yes. said, is there going to be another Sex in the City movie? Because that's all everybody always wants to know. I wasn't here, but that's what I was asking her. Yeah. <laughs> In my heart. <laughs> what? Telepathically. What do you think? Are you on board? I, of course I'm on board. Yeah, okay, absolutely. Guys. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, number one, you know, we have this incredible fan support, which never would have been expected after all this time. So yeah. I think that that should be honored. Yeah. Number one. Number two, I feel in my insides that we're not done. Yeah. I feel like there's more. Do and I just really want to get us all back together because I love hanging out with do them. You think that, <laughs> do you think that Sex and the City fortified women's relationships with their girlfriends? Because I really do. My girlfriends and I always, I mean, we were always close, but we really made, when Sex and the City first came out, we started really brunching. Like, we That's were like, nice. let's brunch again. Did it give because you permission? We, it did. Like, yeah. we, because we used to, you know, we were so focused on working all the yes, time and yes, all of that. Yes. And, we were, and we started taking time for each other. I like together. that. I think that's what I think that's did. a fantastic legacy if, if that's what happened. I mean, I do feel like because it was a show where the central relationships were the girlfriends, we did right. talk about the men, as we all know. Right. But the central ongoing relationship was the friendship. That's my favorite part of the of the show and the films. And, and I love that people embrace that. I think that's why women want another movie to come back so badly, because now we're like, yeah, we're at school meetings I and know all this it. stuff, and we're like, we need to do brunch again. And that would be something that the, the characters would be course, dealing with. And that's course. one of the things, sometimes people say, oh, but don't you think you've done it? And I'm like, no, women's lives continue. Why would there not be right. a new version of things to be tackling? Because our lives, that's how our lives are. Not that that's not true for you guys, too. Well, 
promote anything that promotes brunching. I'm in. <laughs> you're good. You're good with it. I'm glad. How, speaking of kids, how's your daughter? She's great. Is she's she five? She's five. Can you believe? Oh. I know. And she's as tall as an eight-year-old. Oh I my! Cannot God. keep her in the clothes. The clothes oh. are all like. What is she, what is she into right now? She is into a lot of things. I mean, it is the generation of Frozen. Yeah. So you they know, won't let it go. No, they will not. And the funny thing is that we go to school with the Dina Menzel's son. Oh, that's and cool. And he does not care. Yeah. He does not want to hear about it. Yeah. He's like, no. I am sick of that. Have you <laughs> quietly asked the Dina, please come back and sing to our children? I have, and she's like, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's like, the mothers freak out. Right. Like, I can understand that. The kids are like, well, it's magical. I don't think they put it together because for them, the real thing is the, yeah, the animated totally. characters. Yeah. So my, my daughter has a best friend, Julie, and I did get one of those calls that we all dread. I'm at work and I get a phone call from the school. I'm like, oh, something's happened. I, I get on the phone and what has happened is that Gemma and her best friend, Julie, were playing Frozen and they were freezing people. Oh, men, boys, 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 I should say. Yeah, they're, Good. they're Good classmates. Yes, they were freezing people. And um, it was really fun. They were having a great time. And then Gemma decided to kick it up a notch and they got a stick and she made her best friend poke the boy with the stick. Because I think he was the character who pretends to love Anna but doesn't. I can't remember his name. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So they were really playing out the whole plot, you know, in, in depth. So um, the first two got in trouble, the girlfriend who poked the boy with the stick. Yeah. What happened? There was a whole long conversation they were like well Gemma Gemma told me to do it so then Gemma got called in and Gemma was like it's true we were freezing people Good. she <laughs> really Incredible. thought that you was tell them was to continue trouble. to freeze those boys ice those boys <laughs> out we're gonna find out what it's like working with Shirley MacLaine oh my god <laughs> I just called it a heavenly Christmas. <laughs> That's yeah. all good. Starting it's all good. Kristen Davis. That's right. And it's a Shirley MacLaine. Had you ever worked with her before? I had never even met her. I was scared to death. And? <laughs> well, she's amazing. She makes a big effort to be friendly. She'd come. She'd hung out in the makeup trailer. We'd had, like, girlfriend time in the makeup trailer. Yeah. But then I had my first day, and it was, like, an entire day, just Shirley and I. And I could not sleep. I was just so nervous. So I had to get up. It's like an actor thing. I don't know if you've ever done this. I had to write out all my lines. Do you ever do this? Oh, like when I, you're yeah, like severely I know people nervous, they yeah. write out their like, lines. Like, because yeah. I really thought she would turn to me with those eyes. Right. And I would just be like, <gasps> Shirley MacLaine. Shirley right. MacLaine, yeah, yeah, which yeah. would not be what I'm supposed to say in the scene, right. of course. That's so right. I had to really write it out. And it actually went great because she was very much team player. She kind of had my back. She'd kind of direct me under her breath sometimes. Wow. And yeah. I did whatever she said. That's oh, right. yeah. I, I mean, mean as, as you Absolutely. Should. At one point, she told me I wasn't sitting up straight. Right. And I was like, well, my character, she's kind of, you know, upset right now because you just told her that, that she might be dead. So maybe I could slump. And she was like, no. You won't like, like it okay. later. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I was like, okay. You sit up straight. What's the, what's the movie about? You're, are you angels? I, I, yes, possibly. Possibly. So it's a Christmas movie with a kind of a bit of a deviation into some romantic comedy with Eric uh -huh. McCormack. And then I have kind of almost like a buddy film happening with Shirley's character who plays a guide named Pearl. And we are angels, we oh. think. Oh, I love it. I like it's quite a good Christmas something. Yeah, me too. Me I like too. a good Christmas movie too. Listen, yeah. it's Heavenly Christmas. It premieres Saturday, November 26th on the Hallmark Channel. So make sure you check out Kristen Davis and the Heavenly Christmas. So happy to see you. Coming up next, Jimmy Johnson's here, so stick around. Look at you. Look at me. You went from last place to this. We did, yes. How did you do that? How do you 
doing? Oh, that was a stressful deal. Wow. Really? Yes, had to start last. And quickly we moved from the back of the pack inside the top 10. And then the rest of the night, I just stayed there until the very end and watched the guys that I had to beat kind of outperform me until the final 10 laps. Did you say, like, do you have a mantra going on in your head? Like, just hang on, just keep calm, just just nine more spots. I wish spots, it was that just calm. Eight more, really? Yeah, oh yeah, it's nutty. I mean, really? Nutty. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, you know, to have the whole year build up to that moment in time, and I wasn't able to catch the competitors in front of me that I was racing for the championship. Um, and then the way things unfolded at the end with some cautions, we all pit, we come out. Uh, two of my competitors are caught up in a quick crash. Right. I'm racing for uh, the win of the race and the championship. Uh, it was so unexpected. And this was, was like a experience. historic victory for you. Turned out, turned out all right. Yeah. How many is it? Seven. Yeah, and that's tied with. <laughs> That's tied with Richard Petty and uh, Dale Earnhardt Sr. Yeah, that's yes. right. And I, I had a tribute on my helmet to those guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, right there just on the prompter. That's yeah. really cool. Um, those two men have done so much for our sport. And uh, Dale Earnhardt won 76 races, Richard Petty 200 races. Wow. And uh, both had seven championships. So tied, tied some matches. Awesome. Wow. And, you. and now you've carved your place in history right alongside them. Yeah, that's exciting stuff. Yeah. It, I, you must meet young drivers that come up to you and and say that to you. It's a weird position to be in. Um, I, I still remember being that young guy, um, trying to get help from um, you know, older drivers and experienced drivers, and our good friend Jeff Gordon of course. has certainly played a role in that. Um, and I talk mean, about I, re trip. I, remember, I remember when you were both that young guy on the show. <laughs> Um, but to have him on stage with us there as an owner of the car and knowing that he handpicked me to drive that race car, it, it was just I know. Oh, my so gosh. Cool. So what happens? Like, you you celebrate. You win. What happens afterwards? I hear your neighbors, like, decorated your house or something. I'm so proud right? of my neighbors. Yes, they got me good. Oh, my gosh. They Look did a that. beautiful job. And then I have another picture of them doing it from a friend, and, and it was amazing that all these fathers brought their kids out and touched, taught them the yes. other toilet paper. Yes. <laughs> Were you like, I don't understand. I won, and now I'm, I'm being. I'm so proud of them. I haven't done yeah. that in years. I want to go TP that, someone's house. Oh my gosh. Fun? It is fun. You don't really, I mean, I don't, I, I live in the city now, so I, I don't, I haven't seen a house. That would be complicated. I mean, I haven't seen a house, so how do you TP? <laughs> I don't know how you would TP that, but that does seem like fun. We used to do that too as kids. It's fun. Yeah, we're really happy for you. And well, thank you. How, so, do you get to keep that? Uh, yes. Yes, I get to keep it. Yes. That's great. We're really happy thank for you. Thank you so much. Come see us again. Gladly. Congratulations. Thank you. On live, NASCAR star Brad Keselowski. We can just begin and end right here. That's right. It's the season of parties and holiday cheer, but how do we get through the next few weeks without overindulging? That is the question, Max. Here to help us is the author of Eat Clean, Stay Lean, Dr. Wendy Bazillion with a holiday healthy eating plan. To be with Go ahead, you. break it down, break Dr. It down. Wendy. What are we doing wrong? Oh, you know what? Holidays are all about celebration, so I'm not going to break it down too hard on us. You this know, looks all healthy. All healthy. What you is know? happening? But here? the idea is I just want you and your viewers, you know, to, to think about health a little bit at the holiday time. There are a lot of things you can do. Okay. And let's start at the very beginning. A very nice place to start. Yeah. Um, drinks. You know, drinks, the number one source of uh, sugar in our diet are sugar sweetened beverages. So you have to be super careful. And that's where you want to really watch out for some of the high calorie, high sugar drinks. Like, like which was, which would those be? What's the worst? Maybe like a margarita. A margarita. You know, it has so many calories and it has so well, many grams of a, sugar. What about this? 400 skinny, calories. Skinny girl margarita. Skinny girl margarita. Yeah, so it's about just You're changing up a little bit. Right now. Uh, but what, how about an egg? Eggnog, an eggnog. That's healthy, that has egg. Right, it has egg, exactly, exactly. But we can go skinny. So we can go 400 calories to about 230 calories just by making it a little bit skinnier. A lighter eggnog with a little bit of milk. Okay. Or my seasonal favorite, champagne is good. See, Champ champagne's on the champagne list. Champagne is good, champagne, champagne is, is good. healthy. Right. healthy. Yeah. This I should probably sample it to make sure it's champagne. I think you should. Cheers to that. Um, and a gingerbread apple holiday mule. So, you know, Moscow mules are all the rage. This is a great cocktail or mocktail. It's a recipe mm -hmm. on your website. Okay. It's got um, apple cider. It's got vodka or no vodka. I'll have you give a try here. Here's okay. the, the 
the adult libation and the mocktail okay. um, adult libation here. We've got two to try. Delicious oh, that's sparkling delicious. water. Um, really good with fresh ginger. That Drinks. is delicious, guys. So we're arriving at the party. You know, there's a lot of parties to go to, and we've got our apps. And we're already drunk because yeah. we had our <laughs> Moscow meal. Um, so with, we want to do some swap outs. Instead of the really high calorie ones, which you can get a whole meal just by having a few bites. The pigs, the quesadillas, the, the poppers. <laughs> I overdo it on the appetizers. Do, it. do you know I never eat appetizers? It's my rule with myself. Good if I'm going to have this, rule. then I don't have that. Yeah, good you know, you. and it's, it's really good to recognize that the entire spread we have is could be all consumed in a day. So you got to okay. think about that. But there are some better choices. How about some fancy shrimp cocktail? Those, those ring in only about 20, 25 calories each. No kidding. Yeah, and some um, goat cheese stuffed grapes, which are just beautiful. Yeah, my kids will that. love that. Oh, yeah. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Try this. And some stuffed mushrooms. Mm -hmm. You know, better choices because you got to pace yourself. You know, you want to pace yourself. Eyes wide open during the I holiday I didn't realize time. shrimp was so light in calories. Yeah, very light and high protein. So we've got some good choices there, too. All right, you know this what? This feels dangerous. It feels dangerous because it is dangerous. You know, I can sing <laughs> the praises of spinach and artichoke all day long, but not when you choke it. That's artichoke it with um, lots of cheesy goodness. You but know? Cheese, cheese is a calcium, isn't cheese it? Cheese has calcium. It's good for our bones. But cheese and more cheese and Parmesan, sour cream, mayo nightmare. I mean, mayonnaise. And then we've got that some That sounds like a heavy. May, oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm not going to eat it, though. I'm not going to eat it because you do said better. not to. Let's do better. Festive salsas, just um, you know, a store-bought salsa. You can doll it up with some kiwi or some mango, some chips. You can still have your chips. <laughs> I, I, I picture me at the party. Festive salsa. Festive salsa. <laughs> <laughs> try it. Try it. I'll, I know, have, I'll have one. I'm going to. I'm going to. I will do it. Um, listen, we have to take a commercial break. We're going to come back with desserts that are guilt free You're, you're very, you are very, and you are a walking advertisement for your lifestyle, and you. so that is great. But it you are work. reminding us that, you know, when you go to these parties, it doesn't all, ha the, the wheels don't have to come off the wagon, right? Yeah. We can we can do certain things to keep ourselves in check. Keep a, a couple simple things in mind. So we hit the entree running. Okay. We've already consumed. Well, we've been a little smarter at this this yeah. party. Um, you know, the canned ham, just forget it. Whole day's sodium, 380 calories in serving. And, you know, the fatty cuts of meat, that's 700 calories sitting there on the plate. You know, the turkey really is the star of the season. Yeah. So the turkey's lean. Go for the dark meat. That's fine, too. It's got twice the iron and four times the vitamin B12. No and it's much lighter. So you've got good choices Great. there. Great. Okay. Yeah. This looks amazing. All the sides. Is amazing. that how you would present it? Yeah, you know, that homemade right out of the can. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot of um, wrist strength to do you that. You know, I didn't know, I didn't know when I first moved to New York that cran cranberry was actually a berry. I thought that this was like I, I really thought this was the thing. I had no idea it came from yeah. an actual berry. Well, if it has to hit the plate, let it hit the plate. But you know what? It's about adding new things to the holiday season, too. So new traditions. Do not change grandma's recipe. You right. know what I mean? Okay. Don't do that. Okay. But for mashed potatoes, here's a mashed cauliflower and potatoes. And you can save 50% uh, of the calories by mashing in some cauliflower. But not only that, you boost the nutrition. I just saw a recipe for mashed potatoes with Gruyere cheese. Is that good for oh, you? Oh, Gruyere. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. With okay. a little cauliflower. Yeah, well. okay. um, these amazing. recipes are on your website, but some new holiday favorites, some new ways to reduce the, put you in control. You yeah. have the driver's seat of the sugar. Brussels sprouts, if you've been dying to try them, this is for sure. And dessert. A piece of pecan pie runs you about 800 calories. That's before the a la mode. Here's some guilt-free desserts. This is a really fabulous, called Blackberry Angel. We invented this recently. Is that um, in the, on the recipes? On, yeah, okay, recipes right. on the website. Bazillion biscotti. It features mm. uh, pistachios and dried cherries. Or add a little fruit, you know, have your chocolate with your fruit and have some chocolate dipped That is great. Thank you so much. Dr. Wendy Brazilian, always keeping us on track. For more information on, our, uh, on these recipes, go to our website. Thank you, Dr. Wendy. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. As sure always, more information on our website, livekelly.com. That's tonight. We have our tonight's th episode? We have our Thanksgiving episode tonight. We're really excited. And, you know, when you've been on the on the air for so long, I think this is our sixth season. Oh, my um, gosh. When you shoot a Thanksgiving episode, we do one every year, you yeah. really do feel like, oh, this is like our little Thanksgiving meal with our group. Yeah, and 
I, thank you for pointing out the, the importance of a happy daddy. Yes. There's yes. nothing as important as a happy daddy. Yeah. And so that airs tonight at 8.30 on Fox. So make sure you check out my co-host, Max Cucinio. I love that show. And I, I do love a Thanksgiving episode. Yeah, it's yeah. good. I remember we used to, uh, all my children, when I worked there a thousand years ago, we would shoot our Thanksgiving episode, and it, it we would have actual Thanksgiving dinner, and it was really nice. Like, yeah. we got to eat. Um, so this is from uh, Terry Botash. I never got a car with a bow, but I got a toilet with a bow. How about that? <laughs> hey, that's amazing. On tomorrow's show, Chris O'Donnell is here, Bernadette Peters, and Joe Jonas will be my co-host. So we'll see you tomorrow. She's as tall as an eight-year-old. Oh, my God. I cannot God. keep her in the clothes. The clothes uh, are all, like... What is, she, what is she into right now? She is into a lot of things. I mean, it is the generation of Frozen. Yeah. So, you they know... They won't let it go. No, <laughs> they will not let it go. And the funny thing is that we go to school with the Dina Menzel's son. Oh, that's and cool. And he does not care. Yeah. He does not want to hear about it. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> I am sick of that. Have you... <laughs> Quietly asked Adina, please come back and sing to our children. I have, and she's like, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's like, the mothers freak out. Right. Like, I can understand that. The kids are like, well, it's magical. I don't think they put it together because for them, the real thing is the, yeah, the animated totally. characters. Yeah. So my, my daughter has a best friend, Julie, and I did get one of those calls that we all dread. I'm at work, and I get a phone call from the school. I'm like, oh, something's happened. I, know. I get on the phone, and what has happened is that Gemma and her best friend, Julie, were playing Frozen, and they were freezing people. Oh. Men. Boys. Boys, boys. I should say. Yeah. Good. They're, they're Good classmates. Yes, they were freezing people. And um, it was really fun. They were having a great time. And then Gemma decided to kick it up a notch. And they got a stick. And she made her best friend poke the boy with the stick. Because I think he was the character who pretends to love Anna but doesn't. I can't remember his name. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So they were really playing out the whole plot, you know, in, in depth. So um, the first two got in trouble. The girlfriend who poked the boy with the stick. Yeah. What happened? There was a whole long conversation. They were like, well, Gemma, Gemma told me to do it. So then Gemma got called in, and Gemma was like, it's true, we were freezing people. Good. She really right. thought that you was what she was You tell them to continue trouble. to freeze those boys, ice those boys <laughs> out. That's incredible. I, 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 yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah I was not angry. No. Listen, we have to take a commercial break, but we're going to find out what it's like working with Shirley MacLaine. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just called it a heavenly Christmas. <laughs> it's all good. Starting it's all good. Kristen Davis. That's right. And it's a Shirley lot to McLean, say. had you ever worked with her before? I had never even met her. I was scared to death. And? <laughs> well, she's amazing. She makes a big effort to be friendly. She'd come. She'd hung out in the makeup trailer. We'd had, like, girlfriend time in the makeup trailer. Yeah. But then I had my first day, and it was, like, an entire day, just Shirley and I. And I could not sleep. I was just so nervous. So I had to get up. It's like an actor thing. I don't know if you've ever done this. I had to write out all my lines. Do you ever do this? Oh, like when I, you're yeah, like severely I know people nervous. That do that. They yeah. write out their like, lines. Like, because yeah. I really thought she would turn to me with those eyes. Right. And I would just be like, <gasps> Shirley MacLaine. Shirley right. MacLaine, yeah, yeah, which yeah. would not be what I'm supposed to say in the scene, right. of course. That's so right. I had to really write it out, and it actually went great because she was very much team player. She kind of had my back. She'd kind of direct me under her breath sometimes. Wow. And, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a great prize, Barbara. Do you like pirates? Yes, good. Good. Who doesn't? Because you're playing for the Buccaneer in St. Croix. <laughs> Seven days, six nights in a deluxe ocean front room. It includes three meals daily. All three meals? Including lunch. Uh, <laughs> including. Including lunch. It, uh, this trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $9,500. Oh, wow. You Ooh. have 20 seconds and only one guest. Good luck, Barbara. Thank you. All right, Barbara, are you ready? Uh, yes. What did we say you cannot travel with on an airplane? Yesterday. 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 Thanksgiving leftovers. Yes! yes!
Congratulations, you and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Buccaneer St. Croix. Founded in the 17th century and family run for generations, the Buccaneer in St. Croix is both historic and modern. Blend the old world charm with warm hospitality and the amenities expected by today's traveler. The Buccaneer is a premier destination resort for golf, tennis, water sports, weddings, honeymoons, and family vacations. Your prize is valued at approximately $9,500. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> She's in shock. Maybe she hung up. Barbara, did you hang up? Okay. She won. She won. What does she need to? Oh, well, what's what uh, is going to happen, Barbara? All right. Well, we'll pick okay. the number later on. Okay. We're gonna pick, we're gonna uh, pick the number later on, but uh, somebody is going to win a, a Netflix streaming device valued at more than five hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Can I pick the number? You want to pick the number? Yeah, I'll pick the number. We'll do it during commercial break. We got a big show right. with Kristen Davis when we return. Still ahead on live, we'll give you a healthy eating survival guide for the holiday season. We'll talk with the newest NASCAR champion, Jimmy Johnson. And coming up next, Kristen Davis. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Christmas, please welcome the lovable, lovely, and loving Kristen Davis. Hi, guys! Woo I don't know how to high five I'm like a rock star or something. Carvel's trying to get over on us. Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you? Did you? We mentioned this yesterday. You're 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 hosting for Thanksgiving, right? I am. You are. Yeah. How many people are you expected? Uh, I want to say maybe fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. And do you have people that Thanksgiving jump? Because we have friends that Thanksgiving jump. What does that mean? Like they go from Thanksgiving to Thanksgiving to Thanksgiving to Thanksgiving. Um, I don't know. No, I think everybody who's coming to our house is staying at our house and not... And not moving on? Not cheating on us with another right. Thanksgiving. 43% of Americans attend two or more Thanksgivings. Good Why are we applauding that? I mean, Maybe. that is too many hard feelings and blame to go around. Have you seen this? What is that? There's another one of these. Another uh, one of these is, what? This is the flip-flops that are like a certain color, but you can't tell what color they are in the picture, and there's a big argument. Well, they're gray and blue. That's what I see. Yes, that's what everyone in the world should see. Well, I saw black and blue. Anyone else? Those are gray and blue. Those are slate. What do you see? White and gold. You do not see white and gold. <laughs> Oof. What? Oof. There's a real division in the, in the studio see. right now. Kelly. Yeah. You see white and gold? Well, you and her need to go get your eyes checked. <laughs> All right, calm down. I shouldn't have brought no, this I, up. I no, I'm not going to calm the down. Dress? Yeah. yeah, the dress made me upset, too. I shouldn't have brought this up. I feel like we've created a division. Oh, yeah. that's a, that's that is a gold. black and blue dress. Oh, that's white yeah, that gold. is a black and blue. <laughs> you guys? You guys, it's guys, been confirmed. It's for the last confirmed. time, that dress is black and blue. <laughs> and these flip-flops are slate gray and blue, to be specific. <laughs> and that's the end of the discussion. And what about, what about the cigar? The cigar is in the wall. <laughs> Period. The cigar is yeah, in the I wall. I see that, yes. That's okay? A that's a wall. cigar in the wall. Right. Okay. I know, by the way, I'm very familiar with this tone. My wife uses this tone. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the type of tone that... Uh, you back away from, and you just go, it's whatever color you say it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I, I, I have to apologize. I binge-watched Westworld last night, uh. so I'm all hopped up on... <laughs> That's, a, that's anime. hours of, te of television. I did. I watched, I watched, well, I didn't binge watch the entire season. I binge watched three episodes. Okay. So, and yes, it is. Hours Are you of in? television. 
Oh, I'm so in, but I'm still not sure. I don't think I'm smart enough to fully understand what's happening, so, um, but it is an intriguing show. I, I, have you seen Westworld on HBO? Yeah, you have? Yeah. Okay, the rest of you don't know what you're missing. But again, you it's not just from Moby Dick. Well, next time I see it well, I'll be sure to say it. There she go. It's a 40-foot humpback. Uh, oh, no, wait. Uh, la, 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 la. The last time a whale was seen there was a 40-foot humpback named Harry. This whale is looking for a name. They're looking for a name. Uh, and these are some of the options. You want to hear? Yeah? Liberty, which I kind of like because, because she, and I don't know if it's a male or female, we haven't gotten that close. Um, I don't even know how you would look Somebody for that. hasn't figured that I out honestly, yet. I honestly, I don't know how you would look. Do you pull up the, well, if you the said, whale's trousers? And if you said, there she blows. There she, you always say, there she blows. Well, I know, but then it would be a female. You're referring to her as a she in the first place. That's just like sailor talk. Anyway, listen. <laughs> So Liberty is nice because the first time the whale was seen, she was around Liberty Island. Then they like the name Hudson. Anybody like the name Hudson? Cause she's I like the name Hudson. Hudson. Uh, Yorka. Get it? New York and Orca. Yorka. <laughs> the audience is okay. not into it. Yeah, not we and are then, not a fan of Yorka. How do you feel about Fudgy? Oh, that's a New you know York. that that's a New York that. Carvel, Ice cream cake, cake Carvel. Fudgy the whale. No, you don't no. know what we're talking about. No, you what don't know about Carvel and Fudgy the whale cake. It's in New York. And if you turn it upside down, it's Cookie Puss. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you guys from another planet? It's a local if you're a whale and a bunch of humans name you Fudgy, <laughs> I don't think, I don't think you're into that. Let me tell you something. <laughs> if I'm a whale. And you don't name me Fudgy, I'm gonna be furious. Can you imagine you're a, you're a whale and you're just like, they named me after a cake. An ice cream An ice cream cake. cake. A delicious Carvel ice cream cake. Would you like to be named after a delicious Carvel yes, ice cream cake? Yes, I would. You could call me Cookie Puss or Fudgy. I wouldn't care. But again, the year I was here, I was working. We named on our son Twinkie. <laughs> we we were on the air, and Gelman said to me, well, you know, uh, you know that Fudgy the Whale is really Cookie Puss turned upside down. And I was like, what did you say? <laughs> what? I had no idea that the Cookie Puss cake and the Fudgy the Whale cake was the same, same cake. cake. They yeah, just what? turned... The turned the whale upside down and made the Cookie Puss with the hot... Do you know what I'm talking about? Wait, hold on. <laughs> so if they're selling it, I, I feel like I'm, I'm not understanding the story. I feel like we need to get If they're selling it, are, like, are they like, you can buy the fudgy cake, or if you're not into that, you can do the, <laughs> the cookie puss. No, they have them. I have to stand up. Oh, no. And I felt like the watch was like an ex-lover taunting me. <laughs> the, well, the watch Time should have... Time to stand up. Time the watch should have known your location. I, I was like, had a little, had a little empathy. I was like, you shut it, shut it. It feels like Gelman's pretty co competitive. He is competitive, but Quiet, quietly, quietly so. Yeah, quietly so. Well, no, he, he's no. That's the thing is, like, he doesn't let you know you're in the competition until he beats you. That's he's like, I beat you yesterday. <laughs> I'm like, you beat me. In what? Yeah, in what? In walking. <laughs> I walked four more blocks than you did. I was tracking your device on my device. That's right. Yeah. Just comes in yeah. casually. Hey, guys, by the way, uh, I've clocked over 10,000 steps yeah. today. I yeah. didn't even know we were counting. Right. <laughs> yeah. We're not. I am. It's fine. Maybe you should start. So have, you, have you guys... Who here is from out of town? That woke him up. <laughs> anyway, have you been following the whale? The whale? There's a whale in New York City in the harbor. There's a whale in the harbor. <laughs> I have to say it with a New England accent. There's a whale in the harbor. Our forefathers and our
your foremothers. There were eight of them last time we saw a whale in the harbor. Um, anyway, there is a whale, a whale in the harbor. Uh, it's been spotted in several locations. Hey, there, there, there she blow. Which apparently is something you're supposed to say when you see a whale. We learned that when we did the show in Hawaii, that you don't just say there she blow. That's like what you, you're supposed to say that when you see a whale. It's not just from Moby Dick. Well, next time I see a whale, I'll be sure to say it. There she blow. It's a 40 foot humpback. Uh, oh, no, wait. Uh, la, 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 la. The last time a whale was seen there was a 40 foot humpback named Harry. This whale is looking for a name. They're looking for a name. Uh, and these are some of the options. You want to hear? Yeah. Liberty. Which I kind of like because, because she, and I don't know if it's a male or female, we haven't gotten that close. Um, I don't even know how you would look Somebody for that. hasn't figured that I out honestly, yet. I honestly, I don't know how you would look. Do you pull up the, well, if you the said, whale's trousers? And if you said, there she blows. There she, you always say, there she blows. Well, I know, but then it would be a female. You're referring to her as a she in the first place. That's just like sailor talk. Anyway, listen. <laughs> So Liberty is nice because the first time the whale was seen, she was around Liberty Island. Then they like the name Hudson. Anybody like the name Hudson? Cause she's I like the name Hudson. Hudson. Uh, Yorka. Get it? New York and Orca. Yorka. <laughs> the audience is okay. not into it. Yeah, and some um, goat cheese stuffed grapes, which are just beautiful. Yeah, my kids will that. love that. Oh, yeah. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> kids. Kids, kids, try this. No. No. Yes. Try this. Try this. And some stuffed mushrooms. Mm -hmm. You know, better choices because you got to pace yourself. You know, you want to pace yourself. Eyes wide open during the I holiday I didn't realize time. shrimp was so light in calories. Yeah, very light and high protein. So we've got some good choices there too. All right, you know this what? This feels dangerous. It feels dangerous because it is dangerous. You know, I can sing <laughs> the praises of spinach and artichoke all day long, but not when you choke it. That's artichoke it with um, lots of cheesy goodness. You but know? Cheese, cheese is a calcium. Isn't cheese it? has calcium. Good for our bones. But cheese and more cheese and Parmesan sour cream mayo nightmare. I mean mayonnaise. And then we've got that some problems. That sounds like a heavy. Oh, oh my mayo gosh. Okay, I'm mayo not going to eat nightmare. it though. I'm not going to eat it because you do said better. To. Okay. <laughs> some Festive salsas. Just, um, you know, a store bought salsa, you can doll it up with some kiwi or some mango, some chips. You can still have your chips. <laughs> I, I picture me at the party. Festive salsa? Festive salsa? <laughs> <laughs> try it. Try it. I'll, I know, have, I'll I know. have one of I'm going to. I'm going to. Um, listen, we have to take a little more to break. We're going to come back with desserts that are built free. Very, and you are a walking advertisement for your lifestyle, and you. so that is great. But it you are work. reminding us that you know when you go to these parties, it doesn't all ha the the wheels don't have to come off the wagon, right? Yeah. We can we can do certain things to keep ourselves in check. Keep a, a couple simple things in mind. So we hit the entree running. Okay. We've already consumed. Well, we've been a little smarter at this this yeah. party. Um, you know the canned ham, just forget it. Whole day's sodium, 380 calories in serving, and you know the fatty cuts of meat. That's 700 calories sitting there on the plate. You know. The turkey really is the star of the season. Yeah. Now the turkey's lean. Go for the dark meat. That's fine too. It's got twice the iron and four times the vitamin B12. No and it's much lighter. So you've got good choices. Great. There. Okay. Yeah. This looks amazing. All the sides. Is amazing. that how you would present it? Uh, you know, that homemade right out of the can. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot of um, wrist strength to do you that. You know, I didn't know. I didn't know when I first moved to New York that cran cranberry was actually a berry. I thought that this was like. I, I really thought this was the thing. I had no idea it came from yeah. an actual berry. Well, if it has to hit the plate, let it hit the plate. But you know what? It's about adding new things to the holiday season, too. So new traditions. Do not change grandma's recipe. You right. know what I mean? Okay. Don't do that. Okay. But for mashed potatoes, here's a mashed cauliflower and potatoes. And you can save 50% uh, of the calories by mashing in some cauliflower. But not only that, you boost the nutrition. I just saw a recipe for mashed potatoes with Gruyere cheese. Is that good for oh, you? Oh, Gruyere. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. With okay. a little cauliflower. Yeah, well. okay. um, these amazing. recipes are on your website, but some new holiday favorites, some new ways to reduce the, put you in control. You're yeah. the driver's seat of the sugar. Brussels sprouts, if you've been dying to try them, this is for sure. And dessert, a piece of pecan pie runs. Uh, listen, we have a huge show today. Kristen Davis is here. <laughs> and NASCAR Cup champion Jimmy Johnson is here. <laughs> Listen.
This is the part of the year where we pretend like we're going to eat healthy, but we all know that we're not going to, okay? But Dr. Wendy Bazilian is here, and she's going to give us a holiday healthy eating survival guide that we are going to politely listen to, okay? <laughs> Backstage. She's like, I'm not sure why I come back for this. I, mean, I don't know either. Anyway, it's time for, oh, you ready? Oh, here we go. It's time for Lives of Party Travel Trivia. That's Frank Diorio. Hey, Frank. Hey. Good job. Uh, on the phone is Barbara Slivka from Bayonne, New Jersey. Yeah, hit the... Okay. Hey, Barbara. Good morning, Kelly and Matt. Cheers. Hi, Barbara. Good morning. How's Bayonne today? Cold. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Very yeah, clear. Yeah. Hey, you're drinking already, I see in your picture. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was the New Year's Eve... Um, Years ago. Well, Why thanks not? Thanksgiving is right around the corner. You got to knock a few back? Uh, probably have one. <laughs> one? Yeah, some wine with dinner. Yeah. Yeah, one, why not? One bottle. All right. We're going to spin the wheel and see what okay. you're playing for, Barbara, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, this is a great prize, Barbara. Do you like pirates? Yes, of course. Good. Who doesn't? Because you're playing for the Buccaneer in St. Croix. <laughs> Seven days, six nights in a deluxe oceanfront room. It includes three meals daily. All three meals? Including lunch. Uh, <laughs> including including lunch. It, uh, this trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at ninety-five hundred dollars. Oh, wow. You have twenty Ooh. seconds, and only one guess. Good luck, Barbara. Thank you. All right, Barbara, are you ready? Uh, yes. What did we say? You can. Hey. Seven days, six nights in a deluxe oceanfront room. It includes three meals daily. All three meals. <laughs> Including lunch. Uh, <laughs> including. Including lunch. It, uh, this trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $9,500. Oh, wow. You Ooh. have 20 seconds and only one guess. Good luck, Barbara. Thank you. All right, Barbara, are you ready? Uh, yes. What did we say you cannot travel with on an airplane? Yesterday. Yesterday. Thanksgiving leftovers. Yes! yes! Congratulations, you and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Buccaneer St. Croix. Founded in the 17th century and family run for generations, the Buccaneer in St. Croix is both historic and modern. Blend the old world charm with warm hospitality and the amenities expected by today's traveler. The Buccaneer is a premier destination resort for golf, tennis, water sports, weddings, honeymoons, and family vacations. Your prize is valued at approximately $9,500. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> She's in shock. Maybe she hung up. Barbara, did you hang up? Okay. She won. She won. What does she need to... Oh, well, what's, what uh, is going to happen? Barbara? All right. Well, we'll pick okay. the number later on. Okay. We're going to we're gonna, uh, pick the number later on, but uh, somebody is going to win uh, a Netflix streaming device valued at more than $500. Yeah. 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 Oh. Maybe I'll let you pick the number. Can I pick the number? You want to pick the number? Yeah, I'll pick the number. Yeah, we'll do it during commercial break. we got a big show right. with Kristen Davis when we return. Still ahead on live, we'll give you a healthy eating survival guide for the holiday season. We'll talk with the newest NASCAR champion, Jimmy Johnson. And coming up next, Kristen Davis. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs>
Heavenly Christmas, please welcome the lovable, lovely, and loving Kristen Davis. <laughs> I'm like a rock star or something. Yeah, so fun. Fun. we try. We try. Thanks, guys, yeah. for helping me feel that way. Okay, <laughs> your friend SJP was here I know. not too long ago. I saw her on the weekend, and we, that's what she told and me. And we asked her, we asked her, yes. point blank. We yes. said, is there going to be another? Oh, yeah, you have? Yeah. Okay, the rest of you don't know what you're missing. But again, you may watch it and go, I don't think I'm smart enough to understand what's happening. It's, it's a lot, it's complicated. It's really complicated. A lot of storylines. Oh my gosh, so many. And yet the same storyline over and over again. Yeah, I can't. I had so yeah. much. <laughs> I need half hours. Is it, all I want to say this, ladies, and again, and I'm saying ladies just because. We're used to female nudity on screen. We're used to it because it's part of what happens. This is male nudity. Constantly. I mean, constantly. And that's not why I'm watching, so calm down. I like, I like how you said that. You guys. No, just, that's not this why. Is, no, Gelman, not this even is this ma much. This is male nudity. Gelman's like, maybe this maybe much this is why you're watching. <laughs> no, Gelman, not this okay. much, not this much, not that much. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not used to seeing male and female nudity in equal supply, and good for them. Good for you, Westworld. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Go with you. I like how you, I like used to, and let me tell you something, there's male nudity. No, because I, there is male nudity, and people want to know. I think, I do. I didn't have the warning, so I started watching it with Joaquin, and within eight seconds, I was like, you have to go. You have to leave the room. This is Joaquin? not about, I thought it was a, a cowboy a show. show. No. I was like, no. oh, it's about cowboys. No. You're going to love it. Robots and cowboys, what could be bad? Get out of the room. In three seconds, he was out of the room. You were like giving him a, yeah. a history like, lesson on westerns yeah. and how great they are. I don't know. I didn't know. You should see The Magnificent Seven. I think this is going to be just like that. <laughs> and the next thing you know, look at all this male news. Uh, listen, we have a huge show today. Kristen Davis is here. And NASCAR Cup champion Jimmy Johnson is here. And now listen. This is the part of the year where we pretend like we're going to eat healthy, but we all know that we're not going to, okay? But Dr. Wendy Bazilian is here, and she's gonna give us a holiday healthy eating survival guide that we are going to politely listen to, okay? <laughs> Backstage. She's like, I'm not sure why I come back for this. I, mean, I don't know either. Anyway, it's time for, oh, you ready? Oh, here we go. It's time for Lives of Party Travel Trivia. Woo! 